We learned that pioneer children were not able to bring a lot of their toys and belongings with them on their trip on the Oregon Trail. A lot of children learned to make their own toys with what they had. Today we're going to do a craft that uses a large piece of material. This was a pillowcase that was stained and ruined that I used. Some extra scraps. This is just the leftover piece from the pillowcase. And some string or ribbon. First, take your scraps. You can also use stuffing if you have it or anything that could be in the shape of a ball that's going to be big enough for our doll's head. Take your material and find the middle, about the middle of it. And stick the material, the clumps of leftover material, in the top. So here's our doll's head. And I'm going to twist this a little bit and I'm going to take some of my ribbon and tie it around the, that area. You can just knot it, it doesn't need to be anything fancy. Or you, next I'm going to find the two longer pieces of my material. I have one on this side, one big point on this side, and one on this side. And these are going to be the arms of our doll. So, I'm going to take this corner and I'm going to twist it So I have one long strand, and then I'm going to actually fold it in half. So her arm is kind of like a loop, like that. And then again, I'm going to tie it down by the bottom so that it'll stay together. And then one more up higher so that it looks like a little hand. There's the one, the arm near the head. And then now I'm going to make one that's a little hand. So again, twist the material up and then fold in half. Now your doll should look something like this. She has two little arms, a head, a little floppy, and a body. So this makes a perfect little doll to play with and you can decorate her up, make her some clothes, and give her a face if you'd like. I found some wide ribbons, so I gave my doll a little bonnet, kind of like the one I was wearing in my Oregon Trail video, and I also drew a little sleeping face so that she can be a nice little napping doll. 